Uh, City Skylines players and fans, welcome back. Uh, this is a tutorial, and uh, right now what we're going to go over, this one is kind of, uh, uh, not really a cheat, but it just kind of speeds things up, because most of what you can do with this uh, uh, particular mod is uh, you could do manually, or you could do just... Uh, with some uh, patience and uh, with the vanilla game and everything uh, but this makes it a whole lot easier and uh, the model we're going to go over here is the roundabout builder and it basically just creates circular roundabouts and uh, it gives you a huge advantage because it just does it instantly and um, you don't have to really do any math or uh, kind of uh, you know moving the roads around or whatever and uh, uh, you've got perfect circles, uh, so it's 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 a it's a nice one to have. Uh, it doesn't really use too much of your resources of your computer, so I do keep it enabled uh, just because just in case I need it uh, because it is a real quick uh, quick tool to use. All right, um, so let's go through it. There's not much to it. It's uh, it creates roundabouts, but um, you pull up the menu here, and then it has every road. Uh, that you have in the game enabled it has it selected here so you'll be able to use any of the roads so you can use a, a two-lane highway uh, go all the way down to a six-lane road six-lane highway um, use that as a roundabout whatever you want to use I'm going to use the uh, one-lane road which is kind of like the alley uh, the one-lane alley road like this uh, that's basically what this is um, and then you have a radius of 40, which I believe the way that works. Um, switch that back on there because I went to the roads and it turned it, turned it off. Uh, I believe that is um, 20 on both sides. I think it's how that works. So I think it's a radius of 20, a diameter of 40, I think is, is how that works works I'm not hundred percent sure but uh, basically I kind of uh, play around with the different different um, uh, sizes until I get it to look right it's pretty much how I do it um, let's say you want to create a roundabout here uh, in this intersection uh, you can use the uh, plus minus keys on your keyboard uh, make it as big and small as you want. Uh, you can also like, manually put in an input here, um, which I've done that multiple times where you got one that almost works, uh, 40 almost works, but if you switch it to 42, it works even better. So, uh, however you want to do that. So then you just, uh, it snaps to the intersection and you just uh, left click and boom instant roundabout uh, you have to go in with traffic manager and uh, set the roundabout up uh, but uh, it, it, I'll show you that in another tutorial when I go through the uh, traffic manager um, yeah, there is also an undo button just hit undo and it brings everything back to the way it was um, let's see here um, Oh, there is a, yeah, this newer version does have a uh, setup. Uh, no parking energy yield. Uh, yeah, so it actually, it should, uh, it should uh, show up correctly. Um, let's see if this traffic manager, and let's see here. Yeah, see, that didn't work, so I want to play with that a little bit. But I do know that if you hold the uh, shift key down on Traffic Manager in this button here, hold the shift key down, and then just uh, click, it will automatically set it up for you. So, but uh, but that's for another tutorial. Um, but it does have something to do with this one, because it is the roundabouts. Um, and then Keep Open just keeps the menu open, so that way if you wanted to do multiple ones at the same time, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to undo this, and then we're going to switch to the free cursor mode, leaving it on the one lane, and leaving it at 42 right now. And uh, what this does, uh, this allows you to change the elevation. 
Um, and it won't work with this road because none of these uh, roads on that first menu will allow you to uh, have elevated sections or bridge sections. Uh, well, I think the dirt road will. I think the dirt road will actually. Um, but so what we'll use is a two-lane um, highway. You also with the with this freestyle, uh, you have a lot more things you can choose from too. You can use paths. Uh, you can use canals. Uh, which are really come in really handy. Um, like if you wanted to do a shallow canal um, all the way around, um, say you just wanted to do that and uh, pick somewhere where it doesn't interfere with the road too much, and that just creates a circular canal. Uh, so uh, yeah, this freestyle. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things you can do with it, but say we just want a uh, two-lane uh, highway. Uh, we'll just go with two. There it is, two-lane highway, two-lane highway, and uh, get that back down to a reasonable number there. Um, now the freestyle. The only reason you'd want to do this um, is if you're wanting it at an elevated level. Um, so what you want to do is you'd want to, the elevation is zero, so obviously it's ground level right now. So if you're going to use this as ground level, you just switch back to the other one and uh, just use the snap to and have it snap directly to the, the center. But the freestyle, it allows you to create an elevated road. So say we want it at uh, 15 meters. Uh, which is a little high for like uh, a standard overpass, um, but it, it does work. Uh, it's a little bit high, but not too bad. Uh, so you gotta use the bottom circle there. Kind of, uh, you have to freehand it, uh, but you can do it. Um, it'll it work out pretty good. And then just select that, and there you go. Now it does come in as a ground level road, but obviously that's easy enough to fix. Just uh, select the highway um, to, and then go to elevated, and then and I do think that you can actually select elevated here, and I think all of them will come in. As elevated, um, let's say we want to double that size and uh, elevation. Say, instead of doing 15, 15 this time, we want to do 25. And uh, just kind of freehand that. Yeah, so it does, okay. And then as you can see, it's a little bit taller than the other one. So uh, you can do some pretty amazing stuff with this. Um, you can then take uh, like this exit ramp here and grab a node, connect it up to this one here. Uh, I mean, you can do some pretty uh, pretty good stuff with this, uh, with this roundabout uh, builder. Uh, that's pretty much about it for this one. Like I said, this one's pretty simple. Um, there really isn't any other functions to it. Um, change the altitude. Uh, do want to show you an example of one of the things that I did uh, with it. Is I created this uh, this uh, roundabout here. Uh, it's a roundabout within a roundabout within a roundabout. You've got the bus lanes on the outside, and then you have two interstates coming in with. Uh, four roads on each side um, uh, merging in together and then you have the bus lanes merging and then you have a center uh, road coming in here wrapping around here to go to this control tower in the center and then you have lanes uh, going to different levels so you could do some really fun stuff and then obviously these there's some other stuff I'm going to do with this later uh, there's going to be some more exit ramps off of this but uh, but you could do some really fun stuff with the uh, roundabout builder so I do uh, I do recommend it like I said it doesn't use uh, much resources 
as far as what the load the game for what uh, for loading to the game it doesn't use much so I I just enable it and just keep it keep it in your back pocket in case you needed it um, it does speed up the build considerably uh, if you have any comments about the uh, content uh, about the channel uh, feel free to leave those if uh, hit that like button it helps the video get uh, recognized if uh, you know of anybody that would like the video or could use uh, the video um, to learn something from the video please share that with them and uh, please support the channel hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time thank you